How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the Kodak Mini Shot 2 Retro. Not only this is a camera, but it's a photo printer too. The best thing about this in my opinion is that it can connect to your phone and you can pick a photo from there and print it out. Giving you a quick verdict of this item, I would say it's a printer first and camera second. Let's talk about the camera portion first. I'll say that this is handy to have around and it's great for those in the moment situations. The reason why I said that is because this camera can't save any of your photos. There is no memory storage on here so whatever you take at that moment, that's when you decide to print it or not. Now don't expect this camera to work as good as your phone camera or a dedicated point and shoot. So having this around to take that unexpected group photo or selfie and print it out is something special and you can hand it to your friends or family. There is a screen on the back to see what you're shooting and it's not the most responsive so I wouldn't use this to take pictures of really active kids or pets. And on the front next to the lens there is a mirror so you can take selfies. The camera do give you a couple of options, you can add filters, you can add a border, put on a timer or even on selfie mode. I feel like this is really nice to have around when you're going to a family gathering or probably a little meetup where you haven't seen your friends for a very long time. I feel like printing them out and having a physical copy of that photo in that moment just makes it feel more special. Let's move on to the best part about this thing and that's the printer. You do need to buy photo paper when you run out and they're fairly cheap too, they're like about 30 cents each. They do sell separate cartridges which is about 10 sheets per cartridge and it's super easy to replace. You just pop up in the bottom, pull out the plastic tab and replace it. If you're gonna print out a picture from your phone, download the Kodak app and connect to the camera. From there you can do a lot more stuff. You can add on different filters, you have more options for different border designs, and you can even do collages. From my experience of taking pictures on both the Kodak camera and my phone camera, personally, I would take the photo first on my phone, connect it to this Kodak camera, and then print it out. Not only the picture looks better, but you do have the option to use the ultra wide angle, you can use portrait mode, and of course you can do little edits before you print it out. The printing process can take a little bit of time, but it's not super long. At first, it might be a little bit weird because it would probably expect you to come out right away, but it actually goes back into the camera and it adds on the different layers until it's finished. They use this technique called the four pass printing, so the end results are pretty nice and clear. Plus, it does resist some water drops and it's smudge proof. Overall, when you touch the photo, it does feel high quality. For the design, it does stand out and it does have that retro look, and when you're not using it, this can make a nice decor when you have it on your shelf. They do have two sizes, the one I have here is the smaller one and they do have different colors, the yellow and white. This smaller one goes for about 140 and the bigger version is about 10 bucks more so around 150. So are there any cons about this camera and so far there's only one that sticks out and that's the micro USB for charging. Since most of the stuff I carry around are USB-C, it's just inconvenient for me to carry an old school cable. So who is this for? They're great for people who likes to have physical photos or who has a photo book or just the people who likes to decorate. I do have some friends that like to print out photos and put it on their walls as their memories or even like a little board that they have on top of their workstation and just place it there. Of course there are other uses as well, you can print out that photo and put it on your office desk or put it in that special occasion card to make it a bit more personal. Overall, I think the camera portion is just there as an option and it's great to have just to take a simple straightforward picture. But the real value here is the photo printer. Even though this camera isn't something you would carry 24 seven, it's nice to have around to create those special moments for yourself or with your friends. If you guys are interested, I do have the links and all the info down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.